Alain Leroy Locke, Dr. Locke, as he seriously described himself, was the first black Rhodes Scholar ever. A black man whose works on aesthetics, you know, uh, was carried in the Encyclopedia Britannica and all. A man of some intellectual uh, and artistic eminence. Now, but he didn't rest on his academic laurels. He was an active man. For example, he went all the way to Europe in search of a young poet whose works he had read, a young poet named Langston Hughes. And it was Alain Leroy Locke who took Hughes from washing dishes, excuse me, in Paris, and sort of brought him back into the cultural mainstream of America. And another young lady showed up on campus named Zora Neale Hurston. It was Alain Leroy Locke who spotted her and sort of positioned her, you know, in the artistic firmament of the world as, as we knew it. Uh, so now he was head of the philosophy department. I was a student in his philosophy class. Uh, there was a test and evidently my paper impressed him enough, at least for him to invite me to his office and sit me down. Well, young man, uh, what are you going to do with yourself? And I explained to him uh, that I wanted to write plays. I wanted to be a playwright and write plays. And uh, he could hear from my accent that uh, maybe I wasn't so sure of exactly what I was talking about. He said, where are you from? I said, Waycross. He said, I, no, I mean, where are you from, the name of the town? I said, Waycross, George. He said, you want to write plays? Uh, he said, yes. You, uh, you you go to the theater? Said, yeah. Yes, sir. Saturday we go see the cowboy pictures. He said, no, 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 no. Well, do you go? Have you ever been in a place where there are live people up on stage? Well, and I said, well, we used to do the East and the Christmas pageant and stuff in high school. He said, yeah, but I mean, uh, and, and I'd seen some of the minstrel shows they came to. So, but but. The theater, sir, young man, have you been to the theater? <clears throat> Excuse me. And it turned out that I hadn't. I was in Washington. And this is Howard University with the Howard Players. I had no idea who the Howard Players were or what they were involved in. He said, you, you're going to write plays and you don't even know what the theater <laughs> is? I said, well, yes, sir. I said, well, i tell you what... You, I suggest that when you finish here, go to Harlem. There's a little theater group called the Rose McClendon Players just being formed. Tell them that I sent you. Ask for Dick Campbell and Muriel Ron and ask them to accept you. If they do, join this little theater company. And once you do, do everything that's possible for you to do while you're there. Uh, build scenery, paint sets, hustle lemonade, pass out programs, act, sing, dance, direct, whatever. And that way you find out at least what the theater is like and whether or not you can uh, write for it. And I was so convinced that this was exactly the information that I had come to college to get that I didn't stay to finish. As what happened? I, as quickly as I could, uh, I decided that I would go to New York, find this Harlem, find this group, try to join it, and if they let me, do exactly what Dr. Locke had advised. And uh, after some adventures, uh, that's exactly what happened. I finally came to Harlem, found that group, joined up, got into the theater, and sort of been there ever since. When you went to Harlem after dropping out of Howard University, you were at Howard for three years, three right? Three years, yes. So you just had one more year to go. Yes, <laughs> but I, somehow, <clears throat> somehow I didn't seem to need that. Also, at that time, it was necessary to have taken a course in the ROTC 
to graduate. And for some reason, <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to take a course in ROTC. I, I said, why do I need that? No, all I need is the address of the Rhode Island players and Dr. Locke, to whom I owed 25 or 50 bucks or so, because <laughs> he was, you know, he was, oh, he was a marvelous man. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Locke gave me this recommendation, and I'm off. <laughs>